Greetings fellow programmers, this is Pavel and this is the conclusion of our object-oriented uh, exercise in C Sharp. We created our task 1 and task 2, now we'll do the task 3, which says modify the test class uh, to add a fleet of uh, 4 cars to it and print the total value of the fleet to the console and print the value of the least and the most valuable cars in the fleet uh, to the console. So we'll go to our car test and I'm just gonna add the instructions to it because you know I would forget what I'm supposed to do. So uh, print and one more. All right, so um, first we need to create the fleet object. So fleet, fleet equals new fleet. We already know how to do that. There's no arguments or anything. So now we have our fleet object and we can populate it. Uh, we can access the array of the cars in our fleet object and uh, put the actual cars into it. But first we need to actually create those cars. So I will do car, car1 equals new car. And I'll just name it uh, for the simplicity sake just make will be one and the model will be model one and the registration will be registration one and the year now the year will be 2015 for this one and the current value i'll just make it 10,000 and i'll create three more one two three and of course this one will be car 2, car 3 and car 4 and the same over here the model will be 2, 3 and 4 2, 2, 3 and 4 and the same with registration 2, 3 and 4 now the years I'll do 2015 this one will be 2011 let's say I'll leave this one 2015 and this one again 2011 and the prices will be uh, let's say this one will be 12,000 this one will be 11,000 now let's make this one 13,000 and this one 11,000 just so they're not in order too much the kind of little random to it so let's create the fleet of the cars so we have our object of fleet so we will do fleet dot and if you remember from the previous video there was a method called add which adds the cars to our fleet so we will simply call that method so dot add and pass the car one to it and uh, we'll do the same with the car two three and four so two three and four and they want us to first get the total value of the fleet and the least and uh, highest priced cars so the total value we will simply do console dot right line and we'll say total value of all four cars is and whatever the value is is gonna be from the fleet dot dot uh, Calculate fleet value. That's the method. If you look at it, uh, calculate fleet value returns the total value of all cars. And um, so let's test that. Let's see if that works. So we have our first uh, Chevrolet Cruze that's from the previous uh, task. Uh, and this is says total value of all cars is 46,000, which. Uh, 10,000 plus 12 plus 13 plus 11,000 is indeed uh, yes 46,000 so that is working correctly so now let's do the uh, the least and uh, highest priced car now to do that um, we have a method for that that returns the least value and highest value and but these are output parameters so we have to call the method with the output parameters in it so I'm gonna create a, a double called highest and also lowest 
because these will be the ones that will hold the return values from the output parameters. So we will do the fleet dot calculate uh, stats and you can already see that it's asking for what's gonna be the output. So we will do the out. The first one is the least value, so we will place it into our lowest. And the second output will be the highest value, which we will pass into our highest. So now we can do console dot write line and do something like uh, the most expensive car has a value of whatever is being held into our variable called highest. So our highest. And we will do the same with the lowest. So we will do console dot right line. Except it's going to the least expensive car has the value of lowest. So let's run it. So we have the total value 46,000. The most expensive car is 13,000 and the least it has the value of 10,000. And if you look at the what we passed into it, then yes, 10,000 is the least and 13,000 is the is the most. So that completes this portion and now let's do the part 2 which it says have the test class called get cars on the fleet for a specified year iterate over the resulting array use a for each loop printing the details of each car to the console all right so let me again just copy paste the instructions and All right. Okay, so uh, first we need to get that uh, called the get cars that will return the array of the cars for the specific year. So we will create another array of cars, and I'll just call it car years, and we will simply kind of link it, uh, so to speak, to our fleet that whatever is being returned from the get cars, which returns even ask for the year. So let's say 2015, we want the, all the cars that has the year 2015 and it will place all those cars into our cars years over here or we will have an access to it. So now they want us to use the for each loop to loop through this uh, new array. So for each and the variable, I'll just call it, uh, I'll just call it, I don't know, element <laughs> or something, I don't care. and. Um, it's gonna be in the car years, all right. So, so we will loop through uh, through the car's years, and we want to output details, which is basically the if you remember from the first video, the two string method of our cars. Uh, so, uh, all I have to do is console that right right line, and we will pass the car which is in this case you know what i'm not gonna call it element that's just stupid i'll just call it uh cars i guess and uh pass the cars in it so that should output the all the cars with the year of 2015. so we have our current of, uh, this is for the first part not, uh, from the part one but total value is 46 most expensive 13 least expensive and here is our model 3 that has the year 2015 and all the information about it. But I thought there was two more, uh, there, were, there was another one for 2015. Yeah. So it's not finding it. All right. It only finds the one for some reason. So uh, here's the get cars method. Let's see what's wrong with it. Why does it return only one car? Oh, and the reason is because <laughs> it only. Uh, we're using the index for the car's years, but we never increase it. It just keeps adding the car to the same index instead of the next available one. So all I have to do is put my parentheses there. And after we add the car, we need the next available index. So we will do the index plus plus. We go to the next index and the car should be placed into the next available index. So if I run it again, let's see, I should get two cars now for 2015. And I do, I get model one, 
2015 and model 3 which has the year 2015 so if I go to my uh, car test and let's just change this to 2011 I should get the other two cars so that's model 2 2011 and model 4 that is a year of 2011 all right so yeah this is a this is the exercise um, so not exactly how it would work uh, in some points you know it's kind of redundant but uh, it's a good uh, object oriented exercise I think and uh, hopefully you learned something and if you did and if you liked the video please uh, leave a like leave a comment share with your friends and I will see you in the next video take care